Hello everyone, uh, my name is Josuna in Cordoba and I am a software engineer at Red Hat and I'm working in the Kiali project. And in this lightning talk, I'm gonna show you how to visualize this Istio ambient components through, through Kiali. So Kiali is an observability console for Istio and it has an overview page with information about uh, in the cars, about our control planes, and also about the namespaces. And when Kiali detects that there is a, a C-Tanil diamond set, it will show this ambient label in a control plane card. Um, it's important to know that if, for example, Kiali doesn't detect that there is any C-Tanil diamond set, it is not going to add any other features uh, that I'm going to show later because we are, this is a still an alpha feature, so we make, make sure we are not going to add any of this logic into production. And, and the same way, uh, this is adding this label into our control plane car. Kiali also adds this ambient label when uh, it detects that there is any label data plane mode equals ambient in our namespace, so we know this is an ambient namespace. Uh, this is a workload details view, and when Kiali detects uh, that our pod is captured or the traffic is redirected through C-Tunnel, it is going to show the C-Tunnel label uh, next to our uh, workload's name. And before ambient, uh, when we are not in an ambient mesh, we know that uh, our workload is added into our mesh because of the sidecars. But now we have, with ambient, we are going to have different components, and this is the way to show us how. Um, when also uh, our workload has any waypoint proxy, is going to be labeled uh, like this. And we can also see our waypoint proxies in our mini graph. So this is a graph page, and here our waypoint proxies are going to be hidden by default because they are considered as part of the infrastructure. But there is going to be a new display option uh, that is called waypoint proxies in case we want to show them. This is an example of one of the features that is not going to be here if uh, Kiali doesn't detect that this is an ambient mesh. So this is a workload list page. And before ambient, when we didn't have our workload included into our mesh, we can see a message, a warning message, that uh, indicates that uh, our workload uh, has a missing sidecar. But uh, this message doesn't make any sense now with uh, ambient. So uh, when Kiali detects that our work workload is not part of the mesh because it doesn't have any sidecar or because it doesn't have any traffic redirection through C-Tunnel, now it's going to show this out of mesh uh, message. Uh, this is a graph page again, and this is to show you how the telemetry or, uh, is going to change the way we see the graph uh, in ambient. So before, uh, we are, when we are not in ambient mesh, uh, we are going to see the edges that were showing uh, the actual protocol of the request. For example, when we have a green edge, we know this is going to be an HTTP request, or when we see a, a blue edge, this is going to be because it's a TCP request. But with ambient, this is going to change because it's going to represent the uh, component in which uh, this telemetry was reported. So for example, we have here some blue edges, and they indicate they were reported from a C-Tunnel, and even if maybe they are an HTTP request, and we have our green edges that uh, represent the telemetry that, that was generated from a waypoint proxy. So it looks like uh, it, we have like duplicate edges, but uh, this is the reason why. It looks different with ambient. And yet yeah, this was a summary of all the changes that we have done in Kiali to support a, a Istio ambient, but this is still an alpha feature that is continuing evolving with ambient. The, how the telemetry is looking uh, for ambient is something that is still under definition that probably will change the, the way that Kiali creates the graph from that telemetry and probably will help to simplify it. And as future ideas or work, uh, we are going to uh, work on how to visualize these logs that are now associated to a workload. 
uh, how to create waypoint proxies through wizards the, in the same way that, for example, Kiali allows you to create uh, Istio configurations through wizards in a graphical way, or how to include some CTANL indicators in the graph. So thank you, everyone, and don't hesitate to reach out to me or the team through our GitHub project or Slack channel. Thanks. If we have any questions, go for it. Uh, this is limited to the network protocols you, you showed you show here. There's no uh, for general uh, network protocols like UDP, SCTP, there's no solution, uh, I think. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? If the question is about the network protocols. You have HTTP, TCP, GRPC. And what about other network protocols like UDP, SCTP, and so on? Uh, well, uh, it, at the moment, Kiali just represents these kind of protocols, and, uh, and it, this is based on what is the telemetry that is reported by Istio. So, uh, if we don't have this uh, data reported, uh, we just got this, uh, just these protocols that are reported through using different metrics, and that's the reason why we just show these three, three protocols here. Uh, hi. Uh, any news on uh, visualizing multiple uh, clusters? I, I know that there has been w one new feature uh, about it, but uh, we have several ECOD uh, uh, replicas running multiple clusters, so we don't know how to bound that <laughs> without having a single gigantic Prometheus and so on. So any, any, any news on that? Uh, well, uh, recently we have finished all our features that we have uh, for alpha uh, support for multi-cluster. Here uh, you can visualize uh, different workloads in different meshes for primary and primary remote support, but it has like still some things to, to be working, like for example the authentication methods that is still uh, just uh, anonymous and open ID is, uh, is uh, available right now. But if you want, uh, there is a list of all the features that are already supported in, in the Kiali release page. Awesome, all right, thank you. Thank you.